Okay, so you can see here that our cyclo, uh, all single bonds, is the same as the double bond of the same carbon amount, right? So C6H12, C6H, C4H8, C4H2, okay? Also, sometimes you didn't, if you remember the formulas from yesterday that we did in our assignment, you wouldn't have to count the hydrogens, right? Because if you know the carbons, say in an alkane, you just multiply this number by 2 and add 2. So 6 times 2 is 12, plus 2 is 14. For an alkene... <laughs> yeah, for, yeah, if you use the formulas that we did in our assignment yesterday. So like any alkene, take the number of carbons and multiply by 2 and that will give you your hydrogens. Okay, Alkynes we multiplied the carbon by 2 and then minus 2. Yeah. You just take that. Yeah. Okay. Where did we... Okay, so now, let's just practice our drawing of our cyclic formulas by uh, doing these two more practice ones. So I have my hex is 6, so 6 around. You can write your double bond anywhere, but just know that wherever you put your double bond, number 1 needs to be on the double bond. You can go clockwise or counterclockwise. Just your molecule should look the same as mine as long as if you, you turned your molecule any which way. It should... So if we tried, say, cyclopentene, so we need five carbon. Wherever you put the double bond is where it should be one. And we have two methyls coming out of two and three. Kind of doing crazy. Okay, next, we're going to play with our model kits again. <laughs> <laughs> 